Right folks, the nature reserve's over there, but I've decided I will come back another time, several months time, or even a year's time. I, I've just come back, I won't do all what I've just done now, or the other way round. Just come, do Velvet Bottom, do the nature reserve. I don't have to do this big, huge sweep that I've just done today. And I can just have a wander all over there then. There's no time today. I can't fit it in. And I don't like rushing stuff. So I'd rather do it when I know there's loads of time. And I specific and I'll do all the the lime kiln stuff as well. You know what I mean? I'll do all that sort of thing. It does look like the boards have had a bit of a coat of paint or wood fencing stuff. Protector just looks darker than usual. Like I said, the last time I was here, I was going up this field. Up to the aerial masts, which are out of view. No, they're just up over there now. I'm hoping the wind will be behind me on the way back. But knowing my luck, with the tides coming and going, it'll be facing me. Now, I've had that before. I've gone out thinking, oh, we'll be right on the way back. No. No, it ain't. I mean, it feels like it's a type of north wind to me. So we're coming down to the lead mining area that was exploited by the Romans and the Victorians. And later, after the Victorians. So there's lots of slag heaps and ponds that were created um, during that time. This was all a very pumpy, bumpy place. Was This would all be part of the mining here. All these humps and tufts and whatever. And, uh, oh no, it's not, not been painted. This has got the dog gate there, which you lift up. I've shown that before in other videos. I'd better do it again for those that have only just started. You've got this machine, this apparatus, lifts up to let your dog out and in. Good, isn't it? Or a small child would probably want to do that. I've, when I came here last, I think it was a much better day, really. There was no wind. Um, the wind's just a little bit too brisk, really. Um, it could just be a little bit calmer. Of course, when I come down these areas, it will, it will be for a little while. Across the troll bridge, trip, trap, trip, trap. Across the little troll bridge, installed by the Ramblers Association, the Mendip Group. Last time I came, I think the stream was flowing quite well here. That's dried up a bit. Oh, loads and loads and loads and loads of evidence of s s slag here. All this is all to do with the mining. There's a big history here. It's been well documented. Children get brought on holidays here. There's adventure camps nearby where older students come and learn how to map breed and all that. Lovely little tree uh, there that Sarah Weir and of course on his own there. There's quite a few of them. Like I said, the nature reserve's further up round and I will do that. I'm gonna make an effort to just come to the velvet bottom to do that with the little tiny nature trail. I'm I'm not doing it today because it would put pressure on me for time. This is lovely, lovely habitat here with reed beds and all the other stuff, the water, the lushness, you know, snakes. Apparently, this is a very snaky area. They do warn you about wandering off the track here. Um, adders. And this is another habitat for all the different little birds that sweep in and out, make their homes here. And like I said, I've done all this before where I go along there and all up round, but not today. I'm not doing it today. I'm not going to follow that little path either. I'm going back up on the main one. 
Oh, there's this lots of little mo Oh, look at those. Are they martins or swifts? Don't think they're swallows. They could be. They could be. They come to greet me. Yeah, they could be swallows. Of course, in September, they'll all be flying off to South Africa. Yeah, so everywhere I walk is to do with mining. Yeah. All to do with the mining area. Right, over and out, I'm just going to take a picture. Right, a bit more of the velvet bottom area. All here. Now all, all these humps and bumps are all the lead mining slag and the puddling and whatever they did, the smelting products. I didn't go to the smelting tubes today. I mean, like I said, I mean, there's a church up there. There's lots of, th of things I have done before. I've even had my bike here. I've even cycled here and taken my bike. I was, a, to be quite honest, I'm not as fit as that anymore. To be quite honest. Um, but all, this is a Roman, this bit's been excavated in the past and this Roman remains here. Building settlements, evidence. All described to everyone, as you know, on other videos. But just this is just a reminder without going into detail. Because um, there will be people who are linking on for the first time. And they'll have to hunt for the other videos if they want to know more. Or go online, read up, read up on it if they want to. But I've been all over here. I've walked all over. All times of the year. Great picnic area for the humans. But I'm still video. I wasn't going to video today. I really wasn't. And I'm going to stop now. Just for a minute. There's lots and lots of snippets of video today. I just want to take a picture. Just to add with the video. So I've just quickly come up here. Just to get a little view. Of the humpy bumpiness. Which you don't see. Or you don't see any of the features. When you're on the path. So I'm just making a little diversion through. To add to the video. Like I said, I've got a wealth of information and um, booklets and stuff online I would have done as well when I've been doing a, a Somerset thing. So this is all to do with the Romans and that here. But uh, I did dig up a lot more information and it'll be in a folder. A physical folder. Basically I've got too many fingers in different pies. Um, sometimes to sort of really round things off completely. A lot of people out today on the wonder. That's a road going to Pretty. You can get to Pretty from there. Um, I'll be carrying on straight across on our way back to Cheddar. On a nice, pleasant walk on the reverse trip because the wind's behind me. So, it makes a hell of a difference. Having that wind behind me is not a battle. It's still a bit cold, that wind, though. I must say, it's a bit on the nippy side. A lot of people out. You see, everyone gets out as soon as the sun's out. Mainly because we know how awful the weather's been, how changeable the weather's been. People now, we all get out as soon as the sun's out. We escape. We come up to a gate, then I go across the road, go through another gate, and right over that way. And before you know it, I'll be back near um, Black Rock. And I'm going, I've decided if there is time, I'm going to climb up the other side of the gorge, up a path, and go into Cheddar around the back. 
That's what I've decided to do. I'll see how it goes. It's good to do sometimes quite a lengthy video so people really get an appreciation of the landscape rather than just a few very fast snippets, which I've had to do as well, otherwise I forget to do the photos. I mean, there was a case when I was doing photos on one camera and video on the other, but that camera's, uh, that little camera's packed up more or less. It, it hasn't packed up, but the quality's terrible. So, like, really, my, my, it's very, it's very, some people are pretty moaning about this, but... There's a sign there, public footpath. There we go. Over and out for a minute, folks. I'll just show you this bit over here, though. The tunnels. I've been through that tunnel before now, and I have walked quite a bit of this area as well in the past. I have walked it. Now it looks like I could be accompanied by people now. There's somebody just pulled in. Um, which would be a shame because it looks like they had kids. Noisy children. Another little video then as I go along this velvet bottom, this lead mining area, reclaimed by nature. Lovely big. It's quite awkward to walk. There are some little tiny paths you can get on. Um, but it's quite humpy and bumpy and ankle breaking territory and it'd be riddled with snakes. There's lots of little ways you can get out. Walk around the back probably. There's probably a path you can go through up there. It's handy to know sometimes these little extra paths if you want to get away from herds, you know. You can think to yourself, oh, I'll go up there. Go up there in the cool. Get away from them. I mean, to be quite honest, people bring dogs out in this weather. You know, in the peak of the afternoon. It's quite hot, actually. I'm, I was really glad I put my hat on. Yeah, definitely. It's quite hot now out of the wind. I've got no wind on me at all at the moment. It's like baking. Well, I've got my jumper wrapped around my waist, but I might I might put it in my bag in a minute, out of the way. That's, uh... <sighs> yeah, there's no way I'm going to touch the cheese for ages. No. So here we are then, humpy bumpy land. I'm trying to get away before the horde comes. It's mainly because people are so noisy in a group, and it would be the same with, if I was out with my lot. Everyone would be talking. <sighs> nice copse, that's a landmark, that copse up there. You can see that for a way, I mean, that's a sort of landmark for Velvet Bottom from a distance. Some lovely little flowers on route though, isn't there? You've got your clovers and you've got these lovely little fairy bells. I don't know what their proper names are, but they're lovely. They're so dainty. And they survive the wind. Carry on. Right, oh, carry on. Like I said, these lovely little blue flowers are so dainty. And um, even when it's blowing like a girl, they, they dance. You know, they're dancing. So beautiful. I just said hi to somebody, sounds like an American. <laughs> or a, a rock star. He was all in black. I mean, you get people coming out, you know, that are famous. I just imagine the number of people I've bumped into and said hello to and maybe even had a conversation, not realising they were famous. I mean, I'm famous. Like, I've done 3,000 videos. I mean, let's face it. None of that existed when I was young, doing stuff like we can do now. It's brilliant, isn't it? All right, people had cine cameras. 
Real was a film you could do, of course it was around. But not like we can do now sharing. That's great stuff. I love the web. It doesn't have to be you know, it's it's such a useful resource to be quite honest. Just it's a library in your own home, that's what I always say. Right, over and out for a minute. Bit of shade, just for a second. <laughs> 